Hi guys, welcome back to The Rules of Thinking with Richard Templar. We're going over rule number 24, which is laugh at yourself. Okay? I love this one. I laugh at myself all the time. I'm the funniest person I know. I make myself laugh. Laugh <laughs> all the time. I love it. Right. It's interesting how many of the rules for a healthy mind involve being able to detach, to separate yourself out, to observe your own thoughts and feelings. It's great to stand back and look at yourself from a distance. It puts things in perspective. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, when I was younger, I developed a defence mechanism called compartmentalisation. I'm still learning about it now. One of the abilities of compartmentalisation is the ability to detach yourself from emotions completely. Yeah, In certain situations, circumstances or environments, that's a very useful um, ability to have. And um, it served me a lot over the years, you know. And definitely, like, I came across a quote earlier as well. And it said something along the lines of, don't make long-term life decisions based on temporary emotions. Yeah. And that one just stuck with me. So definitely, don't make long-term life decisions based on temporary emotions. Yeah. Take a step back evaluate your emotions, figure out why you're feeling the way you're feeling, yeah, don't just try and put a plaster over a bullet wound, yeah, and try and cure the symptom, get to the root cause, and then fix that, okay, cool, many years ago, I volunteered, this is Richard speaking, <laughs> many years ago, I volunteered with a charity which was all about listening to people who were going through hard times, it's hard to describe just how much I learned about life in general from this, about how people cope with adversity and about the ways we can help or inadvertently hinder them. One of the things I observed was that there was a high correlation between people who coped and those who had a good sense of humour. Those were the people who were able to laugh at themselves and their situation, even in circumstances where finding any humour should have been a real stretch. I came to the conclusion that the reason for this is that in order to laugh at yourself, you have to step back and observe yourself and, hey, presto, you have detachment and perspective. <laughs> this is true. This is so true. I can't actually disagree with this. Of course, this on its own won't solve all your problems, but you'd be surprised how much it helps. It honestly can go most of the way to solving life's minor glitches. Getting soaked because you forgot your umbrella or realising as you're about to serve up a meal that you forgot to turn the oven on and the food is still raw. And if you're going through real trauma, it can be part of the difference between falling apart or holding it together. A hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You can laugh and you can laugh and die or you can cry and die. I choose to laugh and die. <laughs> if you could take the stress out of those everyday mishaps and irritations by laughing at yourself or your situation, you can learn to reduce your stress levels significantly. One of my favourite strategies when I'm having one of those days is to write the funny version of the incident in my head. While I'm getting progressively wetter without my umbrella or sitting in the traffic jam or storming out of the shop in frustration at how I've been treated. A friend of mine recently recounted a story in which his organisation, as in he's the boss, had cleared out the drains behind the kitchen because they discovered they were clogged up with fat and detritus. Detritus is just like crap, yeah? Just little specks of just mess, shit, yeah? It was revolting. And they put it in a wheelbarrow outside the kitchen door while arranging to dispose of it. Ten minutes later, they had an unannounced, on-the-spot inspection from the council health heath officer. Council heath officer? Council health officer. Spelling error there, Richard, yeah? Your editor, I have words. <laughs> They couldn't risk the inspector finding the wheelbarrow, so my friend had to smuggle it past him and hide it before the chap reached the kitchen. My friend was wearing a brand new suit which got covered in fat as he literally wheeled the fat bag past the window while the inspector was inside with his back turned. Now, this must have been pretty nerve-wracking at the time, but the way my friend related the story made it laugh out loud funny, and I could see that it dealt with it by seeing the funny side even as it was happening. The result was that a potentially stressful incident had actually been a highly entertaining one for him. And the moral of the story, in order to laugh at yourself, you have to step back, observe. You have to step back and observe yourself. 
in order to laugh at yourself, you have to step back and observe yourself. I like that one. I definitely like that one. Laughter is the best medicine. A hundred percent. Laughter is the best medicine. It's hard to feel any kind of a negative emotion when you're laughing. It really is. Like, just try it. Try and be angry while you're laughing. Like, it don't work. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Learn to laugh at yourself, all right? Let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye-bye.